Hello everyone, welcome to Education Monday. I hope your SSLC Science Annual Exam went well. In this video, we, we are going to discuss uh, answers to the questions of the paper you have just wrote. Now let's start with first part, Physics. First question, Convex mirrors are used in Option A, Torches Option B, Real View Mirrors of Vehicles Option C, Search Lights and Option D, Shaving Mirrors And correct answer for this question is Option B, Rear View Mirror of Vehicles Let's go to next question. The sun is visible to us about 2 minutes before the actual sunrise and about 2 minutes even after the actual sunset because of atmospheric. Option A. Refraction of light. Option B. Reflection of light. Option C. Scattering of light. And Option D. Dispersion of light. Correct answer is Option A. Refraction of light. Next question. A current carrying rod is placed between the poles of a horse shoe magnet. For the maximum displacement of the rod, the angle between the direction of electric current and the direction of the magnetic field must be Option A 0 degree, Option B 45 degree, Option C 90 degree and Option D 180 degree. The correct answer is Option C 90 degree. Let's go to this main. Answer the following questions. There are three questions. First question is, draw a symbol diagram of a resistor used in an electric circuit. As you know, the resistor diagram is this. A, B. Okay. Next question. Two magnetic field lines do not intersect each other. Justify. Answer is because if they do, it would mean that at the point of intersection, the compass needle would point towards two directions, which is not possible. This is the question we have already explained in our previous videos. Now let's go to next question. Question six. Observe the di circuit diagram given below. Mention the direction of magnetic field that forms around the point P and around the point Q. As you can see, it is clockwise and anti-clockwise. Next mean, answer the following questions. These are two marks questions. Question number seven. Explain Newton's experiment that shows the recombination of spectrum of white light. Answer is Isaac Newton was the first to use a glass prism to obtain the solar spectrum. He tried to split the co colors of the spectrum of white light further by using another similar prism. However, he did not get any more colors. So he then placed a second identical prism in an inverted position with respect to the first one. The colors of the spectrum passed through the second prism and emerged as a beam of white light from the other side of the second prism. Thus, Newton proposed the idea that the sunlight is made up of seven colors. You can also include diagram here. Now let's go to the next question. Write any two difference between nearsighted myopic and farsighted hypermetropic eyes. First, let's, let's talk about nearsighted. A person with myopia can see nearby objects clearly but cannot see distant objects distinctly. And excessive curvature of eye lens and myopia can be corrected by using concave lens by suitable power. Now let's talk about farsightedness. A person with hypermetropia can see distant objects clearly but cannot see nearby objects distinctly. The focal length of the eye lens is too long and convex lens of appropriate power is used to correct this defect. Okay. Now I will go to chemistry section. We will discuss these questions in our next video. Part B chemistry. Question number 14. Correct statement related to the soaps among the following is soaps. Option A. Soap. Easily give excess foam in hard water. Option B. Soaps. Form insoluble precipitate in hard water. Option C. Soap. Easily clean oils like dirt in hard water. And option D are sodium salts of sulfonic acid. So correct answer here is option B. So form insoluble precipitate in hard water easily. Now question number 15. CuO plus H2 when heated gives Cu plus H2O. In this chemical reaction, option A hydrogen is reduced to form water. Option B exchange of ions took place between the reactants. Option C copper oxide is oxidized to form copper. And option D Copper oxide is reduced to form copper. Correct answer here is option D. Copper oxide is reduced to form copper. Next main answer the following questions. Here two questions are given which are one marks questions. Question number 16. Mention any two measures for preventing corrosion of iron. Two measures are one is galvanization and another one is painting. Next 17 question. How is concentrated acid diluted? By OH- ions concentration is decreased. Now answer the following questions. 
टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन थ्री क्वेश्चन आर देर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज रैनसिडिटी नेक्स्ट मेन्शन एनी टू मेथड्स ऑफ प्रिवेंटिंग रैनसिडिटी रैनसिडिटी द ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ फैट्स एंड ऑयल्स वेन एक्सपोज टू एयर इज कॉल्ड एज रैनसिडिटी एंड द टू मेथड्स आर वन इज एडिंग एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट्स अनदर वन इज कीपिंग फूड इन एयर टेट कंटेनर्स इफ यू हैव सीन अवर फोर पार्ट इज दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज मैंशन देर नो नेक्स्ट नाइनटीन क्वेश्चन गिव रीजन Zinc oxide is also called as amphoteric oxide. It is because zinc oxide reacts with acid and base to give salt and water. Next, B. Sodium metal is stored in kerosene. It is because they readily react with water and air, so they are stored in kerosene. Optional question is give reason. A. Gold is used to make jewelry. The reason is it's because it offers lust lustrous appearance and resistant to tarnishing and its rarity. Next question B. Ionic compounds in the solid state do not conduct electricity. Give reason. Ionic compounds in solid state do not conduct electricity because the ions are held in a fixed position within the strong crystal lattice, and since the ions cannot move freely, they are unable to carry electric current. Okay, but here there is a take that, however, when dissolved in water or melted, the ions become free to move, allowing the substance to conduct electricity. Now twentieth question. Complete the following oxidation reaction and name the functional group that is formed in the product. First, CH three CH two OH. Then, when reacted with alkaline, alkaline, KMnO four plus heat, or acidified with K two Cr two O seven plus heat, and it will give you CH three COOH. Okay. Okay, now we will go to part C biology. Question number twenty-five. The information source for making proteins in the cells is option A gene, option B chromosome, option C DNA, option D ribosome. And correct answer here is option C DNA. Next question number twenty-six. Blood sugar level increases. Under section of insulin hormone, swelling of neck. Option A. Under section of thyroxine hormone. Option B. More secretion of insulin hormone. Option C. More secretion of thyroxine hormone. And option D. Excess intake of iodine. So correct answer for swelling of neck is option A. Under section of thyroxine hormone. Next question. Type of asexual reproduction that occurs in Spirogyra is. Option A budding, option B regeneration, option C binary fission, option D fragmentation. Correct answer here is option D fragmentation. Now we eighth main answer the following questions. One marks question, three questions are there. First question is what is the function of ozone layer? It protects us from UV radiations and it prevents far skin cancers. Then question number twenty nine. What is neuron? The structural and functional unit of nervous system is called as neuron. Next question number thirty. The events that occurs during photosynthesis are given below. Write these events in correct order. One, splitting of water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. Two, absorption of light energy by chlorophyll. Three, conversion of carbon dioxide to carbohydrates. And D, conversion of light energy to chemical energy. So the sequence is first absorption of light energy by chlorophyll, and next conversion of light energy to chemical energy. And then splitting of water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. Then at last, it conversion of carbon dioxide to carbohydrates. Now let's go to next main. Answer the following questions. Here two marks questions. Three questions are there. First question is, how do auxins promote the growth of tendril by of climbing plants around a support? Answer is. Auxins promote the growth of tendrils in climbing plants by stimulating an SL elongation on the shaded side of the tendril. When a tendril touches the support, auxins accumulate on the opposite side, causing cells there to grow longer. This uneven growth makes the tendril curl around the support, helping the plant to climb. Okay. Now, there is an optional question: How does our body respond when adrenaline is secreted into the blood? When adrenaline is secreted into the blood, our body enters a flight or fight response to deal with stress or danger. It causes uh, increasing in heart rate and dilated pupils, rapid breathing, increased blood flow to muscles, and reduced digestion and other non-essential functions. Okay. 
Now let's go to next question. Thirty second. Construct a food chain using the organisms snake, frog, grass, and grasshopper. Which organism has more accumulation of harmful chemicals in this food chain? So the constructive food chain here is first is grass, next grasshopper, next frog, and next is snake. So since harmful chemicals tend to biomagnify as they move up in the food chain, the snake being at the top of the food chain will have the highest accumulation of harmful chemicals. Now let's go to next question. Draw the diagram showing the germination of pollen on stigma and label the ovary. This was also the question we mentioned in our previous series. Okay, that's all for today. I will solve remaining questions and upload you the answer in our next video. I hope this video have helped you analyze your answers and get a clear idea of what your performance was. No matter how your exam went, stay positive and keep learning. Thank you.